Any man that has low sperm counts or poor sperm movement could have a problem known as a varicocele. Learn about varicocele on today's episode of Infertility TV. A varicocele is the presence of enlarged or dilated veins in the blood vessels of the scrotum. Normally, the scrotal veins have valves that regulate the blood flow. However, in some cases, the valves are absent or defective and the blood does not circulate out of the testicles efficiently. This results in swelling of the veins above and behind the testicles. About 85% of varicoceles develop in the left testicle. Do varicoceles cause infertility in men? The answer is sometimes. Let me explain. We know that if you examine men with perfectly normal fertility, you will find that about 20% of them have a varicocele. But if you look at men who have infertility, meaning he and his partner have been not able to conceive for about a year, then you will find a varicocele in about 40% of that group. So varicoceles are associated with a greater likelihood of infertility but not all varicoceles will result in infertility. At the present time, there is no way to determine whether a varicocele in a specific individual is the cause of his infertility problems. We are not entirely certain how varicoceles cause infertility. Some evidence points to the increased temperature of the blood, raising the temperature of the testicles, which then damages the sperm. Heat can damage or destroy sperm. The increased temperature may also impede production of new, healthy sperm. Another theory is that in men with varicoceles, the testicular fluid which carries sperm has an increased concentration of chemicals which can damage sperm. These chemicals are called reactive oxygen species, or ROS. So, how do you know if you have a varicocele? The most obvious cases can be seen by just looking at a guy's scrotum. Large varicoceles can look or feel like a bag of worms. It is easier to see or feel a varicocele when a man is standing compared to when he is lying down. Sometimes a varicocele may become more apparent when a man bears down to try to increase the intra-abdominal pressure. The American Urological Association states that only varicoceles that can be felt have been documented to be associated with infertility. Not everyone agrees with that position, however. Ultrasound of the scrotum can be used to diagnose a smaller, less obvious varicocele. Some advanced types of ultrasound can even measure blood flow in the veins of the scrotum. So let's say you have infertility and you have been diagnosed with a varicocele. What can you do? First, remember you might not have to do anything. Just because you have a varicocele doesn't mean it is the cause for your infertility. But if you do, and your doctor really believes your varicocele is causing a problem, there are a number of ways to try to get rid of it. The veins can be surgically removed or tied off. There is a method called embolization that avoids surgery by injecting tiny particles in the veins and causing a blockage that ends the abnormal blood flow. This is done with x-ray guidance. Finally, another alternative, instead of improving the sperm numbers, is to try to make better use of a sperm that a guy does have. If his problem is mild, an IUI, or intrauterine insemination, can increase the number of sperm that make it into the fallopian tubes where fertilization happens. For guys with more severe sperm problems, IVF is a very effective treatment. If you like this video, remember to like this video. Have a question? Leave it in the comments below. We'll answer. Click the link in the description if you want to become a patient in the office or become a subscriber for new episodes weekly. It's like having your own fertility specialist in your phone.